Good evening sa tanan. Thank you for this another opportunity nga kita makatuon sa pulong sa Ginoo. And we thank God for always reminding us from his word. Uh, yes, sometimes ang pulong sa Ginoo it's sometimes offensive. And sometimes ang inunta nga kaning uh more sakit sa tong adawato. But one thing that is so good sa pulong sa Ginoo it's because ang ginasulti, ang ginapaabot sa Ginoo sa mo. It's for our own good. It's a, it's for our own progress sa spiritual aspect. That is why ang pulong sa Ginoo pasalamat gyud from time to time ga remind sa to and salamat po ta sa mga encouragement gikan sa uh, pulong sa Ginoo especially sa atong mga Sundays nang labay ng mga Sundays and about missions. And Tonight, I would like to share a very common topic, a very common situation sa tuwa karun sa about desperate times or mga desperado nga mga panahon. And you know what? There are realizations in desperate times. And today, uh, tonight, uh, let's talk about realizations in desperate times. And I want you to open your Bible in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 64 verse 1 and 2 Isaiah 64 verse 1 and 2 And I'll be reading it in ESV version And follow closely with me I'll be reading verse 1 verse 2 The word of the Lord says Oh that you would rend the heavens And come down That the mountains might quake at your presence As when fire kindles brushwood and the fire causes water to boil to make your name known to your adversaries and that the nations might tremble at your presence magambo kita gino thank you for this another time we're in uh, we can study from your word we can uh, uh, we can internalize lord sa mga pulong ay mga ginapaabot sa mga yes sometimes there are uh, sometimes gino sa mga kinabuhi uh, say sakit ang mga pulong ang pagkadawaton but yes uh, one thing that is so certain and pinaka great nga purpose ni Mugunyo nga ma nga ma equip kami as a Christian as your follower and as your disciple and Lord as we continue uh, may you glorify your name will be glorified in Jesus name we pray Amen Realizations in disparate times and kung imong tanaw ng verse 1 pa lang kung imong tanaw ng verse 1 pa lang it's actually a desperate line nga naman kung sa ni ni prophet Isaiah niya that Lord rend the heavens rend the heavens Lord meaning kung imong tanaw na sa other translation Lord rip the heavens or sa Bisaya mas klaro siya ginoo gisiya ang langit Gisiya ang langit araw makaamig ka sa kalibutan. One of the very desperate lines. One of the very desperate na prayer dahil sa ginoo. Nga, gigi, gigi, ni hangyo sa ginoo nga po, Pidi Lord. Gisiya ang langit araw makaamig ka o makaamig ka dire. And, kung yung mong tanawin, why? Nga nung, nga nung nakaingani si Prophet Isaiah, nga nung ingani ang iyang line. Nga nung ingani ang iyang nga, emotion sa pag-istoryaan ng line. Anong grabe din ang pagpakiloy doon? Rip the heavens. Yung tanawon ba, simple nga pagka-istorya may so, maramingon ba nga gino? Naog sa kadali. Naog sa kadali doon. Huwag sulbara ang tanan. Isaiah chapter 63 and chapter 64 was actually connected na siya. Nga naman, kung atong ito if atong balikan ang chapter 63, kung atong tanawon ang verse 15 to 19, atong basahan kadali, Isaiah 63, 15 to 19, klaro kayo diya, kaniingon si, niingon ang, ang pulong sa gino, look down from heaven and see from your holy, and beautiful habitations, niingon ang, niingon ang mga tao, Lord, look down from heaven and see your beautiful habitations, tanawa gino ang, Ang imo mga puyanan. Tawag yun ang imo himo. Unsa yung di sa verse uh, verse 16. 
For you are our father, though Abraham does not know us, and Israel does not acknowledge us, so referring to the their fathers, forefathers, Abraham and, and Jacob. O Lord, our, our Father, our Redeemer from of old, is your name. They acknowledge their forefathers, but they acknowledge greatly the name of the Father. That is the Redeemer. Puro pag inyo niya dari, sa verse 17, O Lord, why do you make us wonder for your ways? And harden our hearts so that we fear you not. pag sa verse 18, your holy people held possessions for a little while. Our adversaries have trampled, trampled down your sanctuary. Kung imong tanawang may isang, ang message ba sa chapter 63, nga niingon ang mga katawan, ginoong, ikaw ang among amahan. And kung imong tanawang sa verse 18, your holy people held possessions in a little while. Sa mubulang panahon, nakapuyog me, naka, nakahawid me. Pero sa Inesa, nagsunod, Our adversaries or our enemies have trampled down your sanctuary. And it was the time when the Babylonian Empire overwhelmed Israel. It was the time when the Babylonian Empire crushing them with an iron fist. And it was the time when Babylonian Empire turned Jerusalem into a smoldering rubble, or meaning an ashes to ashes. And maybe it's literal. Yes, it's literal. Karabi good ang paglutos, karabi ang pag, ang pag, ang pag, ah, pagdaog-daog sa kaaway sa ila. That's why, kung yung tanahon, kung yung tanahon. Ang verse 1 connected sa verse 15 to 17, nun sa inyo niya? Lord, your, your enemies, the adversaries have broken your sanctuary. That's why, pag yun sa verse 1, sa chapter 64, nangyong nang, ang prophet, that Lord, please, kung yung tanong ba? Oh, rip down the heavens so that you can come down and you can quake the earth with your presence. It's a very desperate moment. Very desperate moment. And you know what? We are in the times like this. We are in this age like this one. We are desperate about our safety physically. Diba? Kaya mong tanawang. Uh, usahay, panagsan lang kay tamad tugmol. Sahay, sa una, pwede pa ka nadlaw o pwede pa sinima na ka mato, pero karang yung panahon. You are so desperate about your physical aspect. Hadlok na ka. Hadlok na ka nga uh, matakdan. Hadlok na ka matakdan yung zone. Hadlok na ka ma makubid. That's why this time you are so desperate. Siyempre, health protocol, facial, face mask, alcohol. Tapos ito yung bagong uh, ano nga ano yun siya? Face gloves. Oh, I mean gloves. Hand gloves. Kulay face gloves na. No? Hand gloves. So, this is the very moment that we are so very desperate in our physical aspect. We are so desperate about our financial needs. Uh, Kanaganing kanang limitado lang kayo ba? Labi na siya nagatrabaho. Sa ikaw may red income. Pero sa ay, wala pa gani. Pero sa ay, kung na may madawat, luigot na lang yung bayad mo sa upan. We're so desperate financially. Or we are in the times that we are so desperate about the, our families, about the safety of our family. Labi na nga layo sila. Sa itong mga nai pamilya nga naasa, laing nasun. Sa, sa kaya naitabos sa anak dito. At saka yung naitapos ang isoon dito. Sa ato ang anak sa local, sa Pilipinas. Pero usay mag, 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 magbalaka pa ta sa panahon or uh, sa atong mga pamilya na nasa layo. It's a very desperate. Or we are so desperate, desperate about what happening right now. What, what is happening right now? The pandemic. 
last night uh, uh, sabay kami kang Pastor Jun uh, we are doing a funeral service ila hapon nga silingan same time a family friend nakaisigot mi samtang ga ga, ga padulong kami about about what's happening sa kalibutan that every day na lang every day na lang na lang kay makita ang condolences every day na lang na kay makita ang ha na uh, profile picture na kandila every day na lang yung tanaw na very desperate times and you know what my son we are in the midst in the very desperate times so we did like this situation in the Isaiah's time nga niingon si prophet Isaiah Lord rip down the heavens so that you can come down a very desperate moments and Maybe that was one of our prayers. Ngayon ngayon ta karon Ginoo. Kung pwede lang Ginoo in just a moment na ko. So bara ta nan sa kalibutan. Maybe ah uh, yes, it's possible that God can do that. God, God can do that. That is why may so we we can realize things. We can realize these things when you are in desperate moments. You know what? And this realization is blessing. So there are two, two real realizations in our desperate times. Dua kabutan. And for now, let's uh, talk about the first one. Dua, I mean, dua kabutan. But now, isa lang ato pa yusbutan. Unsa atong una nga realize when we are in desperate times? You know, when we are when we are in desperate moments in life, like this. Karon nga panahon, we are in the desperate times. Sa ako pang ginayang mong gaina. Uh, dihado na ka. Ang bad gani, dihado na mong simba. Tungot ka ba sa <laughs> Makaunsa sa COVID. Maka, makakuhag, makatapot dito virus dito simbahan. But what are the realizations when we are in the desperate times? First, first realization is this. It makes us realize of how lost we are without God. First thing, it makes us realize of how lost we are without God. And this his, this history of chapter 63 and 64, it actually fitted sa kung unsa kung first point nga naman kung unsa iyong tatawon ang nangitabo sa ila. Pag abot sa verse Verse 7 and verse, verse 7 to 14. Let's uh, read it quickly. Verse 7 to 14. Uh, akong basa ko na. Sundas yung mga mata. Ano sa iyong dia? For he said, or, I will recount the steadfast love of the Lord and praises of the Lord. Pag-abot there is a uh, verse 10. But they revealed and grieved his Holy Spirit. So about disobedience nila. Therefore he turned to be their enemy and himself fought against them. Verse 11. Then he remembered the days of old. Of Moses and his people. And look. Kung saan nang diya? Sa verse 11. Sa chapter 63 verse 11. Where is he who brought them up out of the sea with the shepherds of his flock? Where is he? He who put in the midst of them his Holy Spirit, who caused his glorious arm to go at the right hand of Moses, who divided the waters before them to make for himself an everlasting name, who led them through the depths. Where is he? They were in desperate moments. Nga to the point, gikapangita nilang gino. And you know what? Ang realization si John, ang usak ang realization, Sa disperado ng mga, mga panahon, it makes us realize that we are lost without God. Pildi kita kung wala ang ginawa. It makes us realize that we are roaming around nowhere to go without God. Mata. We are in the very opposite direction sa ginawa. Layo kita sa ginawa. 
how many times in life when you when you feel that you are all alone or you feel lost all the time in verse itself verse 1 it tells us the statements that supports our point yung tanawon verse 1 lord rend the heavens lord kung yung tanawon ba simple nga pag-istorya gino bakapi mi gino rescue kami hindi na ako kaya so it's right ang disperado ng mga panahon ng Isuon, it will make us realize that we are lost without God. Wala ko kayo mahimo. Wala ko kayo mahimo. Wala tayo mahimo. Say mahimo na to. That's why when we are about to lost, there are three things nga akong ma- na akong ma- baka nari. When we are about to lost, we want God to take over the battle. It's true. When we are about to lost, we want God to take over the battle. Ano ang ganyan? Hapit na ka mapili bro. Alam pa sa sila. Grabe, crash na kayo sila. They were, uh, they were crumbled by the Babylonian Empire. By the Iron Fist. Ganyan pa. That's why they want God to take over the battle. Lord, help us. Sa so, Psalm chapter 3, verse 3 to 4, no, no need to open it. But you, O Lord, are shield about me. My glory and the lifter of my head. I crowd aloud the Lord, and He answered me from His holy hill. But these people, kabalmo, are disobeying God. But in the end, when they are about to lose, they are asking God to help. And it's one of irrealist, uh, real situations at natong mga Kristohano. Sometimes. We are making personal combat with the world. Naganing akaya lagi na ko ni. Sige, ito ko. Naganing uh, uh, I remember, I remember one situation when I was in Bible school that someone told me ato ato siguro tagbar. Ingon ko siya. Do you think makaya na to? Do you think makaya na to? Pag naana ta dito. We are not spiritually mature. We are not spiritually. I don't know. What's up, spiritually? Yeah. Pero pa yung trao nung hindi nato kaya. You are there. You are making a personal combat with the world. Yet you are trusting in your own self. Hindi nung to siya ako. Hindi nung to siya ni Sultis ako. Kaya nandito tni. Let's let's uh, stand. Let's stand your ground. Salamat ang puno ko, wala po doon na dayon. Wala po doon na dayon ang ganito. So, kung muntan ako na iso, when we are about to lose, we want God to take over the battle. And it's true. We can't take over the battle, Lord, ikaw na wala. And when we are about to lose, desperate prayers will come out from our mouth. And it's true. The rend the heavens. It's a very desperate prayer. The world, the word actually are too impossible for us to hear. Lord, rent the heavens. But possible to God. Possible to God. Kung yung tanawang ba, kung yung mo lang ikumpara yun, kung yung, kung yung isimplify gani ang, 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 ang word ni Isaiah, mura ka ningun ka ba? Nga naibas ka ron, nga mubunggo sa usa ka tao, maninig ka ginoon, nauda, pugni ang bas. Nga na ba? Is it impossible? No. It's not impossible. It is possible. So, pag ingon niya, I say, Lord, rend the heavens so that you can come down. And it's not impossible, this one. That is why when you are in very desperate moments in life, you will utter a very desperate prayer that will come out from your mouth. And this is one of the desperate prayer. Sa'ko pang ginayin nun, murag, nihang nyo sa ginoo ba nga na ay bas nga ni gusto ko yung dagad tapos na'y tao sa pedestrian din nga nitabok. Tapos nga nga karoon, ikaw nga itanong nga 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 in this very moment, pwede ka makanaugbog ni ang bas. And it's not impossible. It's possible. But you know what? 
uh, there comes to my mind a very common idea ba? Very common idea. Nakita naman ta ng mga nagbangga-bangga vehicle nga nabangga na sa katao. And sa mga videos, videos YouTube or sa Facebook videos, ato makita ng mga aksidente nga makita, mga atong makita na makabangga yung tao. But you know what, Mason? One thing I realized, ba? one thing I realized, a very common idea lang na siguro mahanonan po na itong kanan. Wala, wala kayo nakita sa mga videos nga ang sakin ng sudden stop, nag-stop din sa wala. Kung yung tanaw na, katong lang, tanaw mo mga videos. Wala yun kayo nakita ng bus or train or uh, vehicle, car or a motorcycle na hapit nakabang, makabang ka ng tao pero suddenly nag-stop. I think, wala pa ko yung nakita anak. Wala pa. Pero mo niya ang pinakakumon sa tanan. Mo niya ang pinakakumon sa tanan. But we can see a lot of videos that a vehicle after hitting someone, that person still alive. After nakabunggo sa usa kasakyanan, pagbunggo yun sa usa ka tao, and amazingly, ang kanto nga tao bugi ilang yan. Ngunit akong observer na, sa akong nakita ang mga videos, wala yung bas nga ni Hunong Ugali, tapos tao wala, wala yung bas. Ako yung nakita kayo ang bud lang. Kung naman yung pakita, ay pakita ako. Ito naman yung nakita ng videos. Pero mostly ba, mostly ganit, na kanang ganing sakyanan na nakabanggaw ko sa katao, ang pinakamising ba? Nahit niya mo sa katao, pero ang tao buhi pa. And you know what? What I realized, my son, what is the logic? But there is a there is an illustration. Kapal mo, God's power is not limited. He will work to the greater damage, so that He can show His greater power. And I suddenly remember, sa wala ni Pastor last night about kang Lazarus, that. Pwede ang ginumuad to sa kamatayon sa maong ipagpatay ni Lazarus. I mean, sa maong, sa maong uh, adlaw nga namatay si Lazarus, I mean. Pero kung siya yung ipaabot, napay nilabat, nilabay pang upat ka adlaw sa saan niya ito. Kung ito yung ingin pa ni Pastor, kung sa ang buti pa sabot ani. So that God can show His greatest power. Bako na. We... Uh, Away siguro, hinahinay ito kadunot. Upat na kaadlaw. So, yung tanawan mo yung ba? Because kung yung tanawan sa bus, babalik ka sa bus ng situation. God, maybe when God will work at the bus, about sa makina, pwede pa mingin yung tao, nakabreak yung itong kalit. Or pwede nga kayo, ah, naka, naka-weaver yung kalit. Or pwede mo yung ng tao, tungkol to sa ako, driving skill, pwede eh. Pero kung ang ginoo mo liyok sa kinabuhi, wala'y pwede makakredit. Di siya pwede mo ingon ka rin nga. Tugod sa kinabuhi itong tao, wala. There are moments, there are moments, and there are a lot of videos na kusog ka ayaw pagkabangga yun. But still, the person is still alive. Because God will work at the greater damage so that He can show is greater power. Amen? It's really amen. It's one of the greatest amen. That's what I'm going to say in the life of Isaiah. In the life of the Hudiyo. In the time of the day, they were crushed. They said, Lord, I'm going to give you. It's a very disparate moment. That's why, when we are about to lose, disparate prayers will utter or will come out from our mouth. And lastly, when we are about to lose, magnifying God is just easy. Sayo na lang sa ito ang pagsimba sa gino. Kung nata sa mga desperado ng mga panahon, kung sa'yo, hindi ako ang panahon, kung masimba po ito sa gino. Kung sa'yo ngayon sa versikulo, itong tanahon sa verse 1, kung sa'yo niya niya. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, 
that the mountains might wake at your presence. Para ang kalibutan o ang mga ang mga bungtod, ang mga bungtod matay og sa imong presence sa Ginoo. Magima pagimaya man sa Ginoo. And you know what? In a desperate moments magnifying God is just easy. That is why one quotation said, "Make God your first option, not your last resort." But allow me to rephrase that: Make God not only not your first option, but your only option, not your last resort. Ang original quote sa quote anak mo ni, "Make God your first option, not your last resort." But no, the right right phrase: Make God your only option. Not your last resort. That is why sometimes we can't appreciate God when you are still in process in battle. Sometimes you can't appreciate God. Kung napaka sa proseso sa sa away. But when you are starting to lose, when you are about to lose, you can start. Uh, you, you you were starting to to utter some words, Lord. Ikaw na bala. You know, mas mas mas. Ano ang imo ang dako mas mas dako imong gaho mas gamhanan ka This people was crushed by Babylonians that is why they are making an appeal to God through praises That's why when you are about to lose it's easy to magnify God Amo na ang mga butang ba na usahay di na ito mapansin sa kinabuhi ka ng kanyang pili na kita problemado na kita di na ako sa'yo magdawas ang atong pag magnify sa kinabuhi excuse me that's why this desperate times one thing that we can realize we are lost without God we are lost without God you are lost without God the what na ang realidad may song Dahil sa mga desperado nga panahon, bisan sa daily desperado nga panahon, you are so lost without God. There are many people who are lost today, spiritually, yes. They are lost because they don't have a Savior in their heart. But not only in, spiritually, in spiritual aspect, but in ministry. There are pastors, there are Christians who drift away from the ministry because, first and foremost, they don't seek what is really the purpose of God in their lives. Ito ko silang kaya nila para dilitay. That's why I want you to be reminded of this. That in desperate times, it makes us realize of how lost we are without God. Kami may isa. Ako ako may imo, ikaw ay may imo, kitang tanan mo tayo. That is why that will be our first realization. And I will share to you the second realization next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, God me. And hopefully, this, this message will, will encourage and remind us that we are nothing in this world without God. That is why David, said, David says in Psalm 23, here though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. We are lost without God. And see you next Wednesday, and God bless you.